Hello Internet and welcome to the Try Guys Mystery Box Challenge with special guest, Social Distancing. Our partners have a few minutes to go through our kitchen and pick a few items that we then have to incorporate and highlight in a meal that we cook for them. Ariel has picked out a bunch of ingredients in this bag. I'm going to open them up and then I'm going to have one hour to make a dish. It's like chopped, but it's definitely not. Uh, <laughs> we are all filming from our cell phones at home. I really fucking hate vlogging. Why am I talking to no one in my hand? I need a stage, I need theater. So I've spent about an hour figuring out how to put up two cell phones in the kitchen. So it looks like there's an actual crew here, but there really isn't. I'm going fucking crazy. It's all right. There's very little production oversight. So we're filming this the way that we want to by ourselves. And then some editor is gonna have to put it together to see if it works. We're having fun. How, how are you doing, Wes? Good, good. That's right, all the Try Guys are at home being responsible during this pandemic. I feel like we're all kind of doing this every single day. Every day I come into the kitchen and I look at what we have and I go, what the f can I make? Becky, you're going to take this now and you're gonna pick out some things that I have to use I'm and I'm gonna go in the other room. I'm the star now. Okay, Maggie. I'm gonna, I'm oh, sorry, I didn't tell you I was filming. I know, it's okay. I'm gonna hand off the camera to you. You're gonna pick what I cook with. Let's go through the pantry. Do I flip the cameras back? How do I do this? Matt, Matt, come out on the stage. Yay. I made you a Campari Spritz. Oh, thank you. Cheers. I'm getting drunk. Who told you to dress like that? You. That's right. Because if you're driving a luxury vehicle, you gotta show it off. So my goal with this is to give him things that are challenging but not inedible. So pantry-wise, let's see, we got northern green beans, cut green beans, ice cream chilies. I could either give him fish sticks, I could give him a vegan frozen thing. I guess I should give him something easy, so something like kimchi, those are flavors that he knows. But I've also included tuna and seaweed. Knowing Ned, he is going to see these and immediately think sushi, which I think will be a disaster. Made in Peru. Hey, like my parents. Let's give him a challenge item. So I'm gonna give him the green chilies. I know. We eat mostly vegetarian at home. So I got some vegan sausage. Eugene hates this, so that's really gonna put him for a loop. You can add some sweetness and toss an apple in, or an almond chocolate bar. How would you describe um, how we cook at home? Do I cook well? How often do I cook? Am I the best boyfriend ever? Eugene doesn't cook. You're usually the one who cooks. I'm always the one who cooks. See, the pandemic is bringing out your domestic side. <laughs> you were cleaning toilets, and now you're cooking, so. So you like the pandemic. No, I like who you are in the pandemic. Okay, so I am back. Becky has picked out my items. You're too sharp for this camera. Let's open up this mystery box. I have no idea what you chose for me, Ariel. What would I make with this? I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna open my box. You ready to see what's inside my box? Yeah. Three, two, one. What is this? You can cook with that. I okay, know you okay. can. Okay, okay. Well, I. Okay, so one item is very bizarre. The other two are normal. Let's flip this around. Yay! You did this for me, huh? Yes, because you're Korean and you like kimchi every day. Yes, we have some cherry tomatoes, orzo, uh-oh, a whole green bean, raisins, nice, apricots, and cashews. Turkey bacon, okay, so I can make uh, eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Artichoke carbs. Hey, it's from Peru. Like That's you. That's what I said. <laughs> like cool. Sweet potato. We have to get rid of these. We have been eating so much sweet potato. Potatoes! Cheddar cheese. Cheese. Everyone loves cheese. Add it to anything, it tastes better. Sausage! These are your favorite vegan no. sausages. I know you love vegan so much. I hate this vegan sausage. Two nice size salmon pieces, a nice Keith size, a nice Becky size. What is this? Oh, this is the, the pickled ginger cabbage that's left over from Tokyo Fried Chicken Co. I do like that. That's actually pretty. I feel like those will go well together just fine. But this, this milk chocolate bleh with, with almonds. I have no, what am I gonna do? Create a glaze? That sounds disgusting. Leftover bread, one apple. Oh my god. <laughs> One zucchini. <laughs> That's 
sea salt. Oh no, I do have fish. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Ice cream chilies. No, I didn't buy these. I like spicy, so hopefully you can come up with something good. As like sweet potato and green chili sound very odd together. So do artichokes, but you'll do great. Let's see, it's Italian flavor. Because you're, like, you're Italian. Yeah. Can you say something in the audience in Italian? Veramente non ha la capacità di cucinare. Oh, that sounds romantic. What's that? Yeah, so nice. What does it mean? Yeah, you have to look up. No, tell me what it means. They do this on cooking shows, but with like real chefs, I have no idea. You want raisins, Wes? You want to eat the raisins? That would help me out a little bit, actually. <laughs> okay, well, uh, now it's time to start cooking. And that's, I can still see you, Matt. You're like lurking in the background in this shot. I'm watching you. No, you can't watch me. Go somewhere else. Fail. Go somewhere with the dogs. Watch you fail. I'm not gonna fail. You're gonna love this. F you. What the fart am I gonna make? I didn't like standing next to Matt in frame. I think these shirtless apron looks was a bad idea. He's too muscular. He made me look like a, a 11 year old Asian girl. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out a game plan here and pick some other ingredients and then get sewing. But first I'm just gonna go ahead and start thawing these because I gotta thaw. Uh, okay, Becky. Becky Havers burger. <laughs> what are you doing? You have to wait, I'm that. making you dinner. Okay, I actually have an idea. Okay, I don't know if this is cheating, but I have in the past made like a spinach artichoke dip sandwich. So spinach artichoke, it's basically like a vegan grilled cheese where you do artichokes. Um, and actually I do think that this would go really well with that. Uh, and then what if I like, like make it like an, a spinach artichoke BLT where I put the bacon with it. I think that would be really good. Is what I'm saying making any sense? My plan here I think is to make a little uh, Asian salmon over rice sort of thing. So I'm gonna cut up the carrot and get the carrot and the mushrooms and the cabbage to all saute together with the rice. So kind of making a fried rice situation there. Okay, orzo. Uh, I've never actually made orzo, but it's still pasta. So I'm pretty sure you just boil it. That's easy. And I'll do something with like croutons or breadcrumbs. No. No. I feel like the potatoes should be the base and I do love potatoes. You don't like potatoes, what is wrong with you? So I have been putting together a plan and I have a couple of ideas. All right, <laughs> Wes is popping bubble wrap. We got a package in the mail today and uh, Wes has been popping bubble wrap. It's very exciting. Uh, this seaweed has really got me thinking one of my other favorite foods is sushi. So I'm gonna take some of my orzo and try and make it into like a sort of like uh, like Italian sushi rice. And the chocolate bar. <laughs> Maybe I could get the almonds out of the chocolate bar. I guess I could melt down the chocolate bar, take out the almonds, cut up the almonds, and maybe I can take it just a little, like a tiny bit of the chocolate and mix it with the ponzu and mix it with like some other, like soy sauce and stuff like that and see if I can't make a sweet and spicy glaze for the salmon and just use a little chocolate. So it's just getting a little bit of that sweetness. And then for the main course, Ariel doesn't eat red meat or pork. So hopefully these will be like savory uh, Italian meatballs that she can uh, eat because they're tuna. That to me sounds like the grossest part of the dish because tuna and peanut butter is like, ew. But I don't know, maybe if there's enough spices, it'll work out. And then I don't know what to do with this. What if I do, can I make sweet potato fries? Yeah, but they're already kind of mashed. I don't know how you do it. That's the plan. I'm making a sandwich with a side of sweet potato fries and I'm gonna reform the sweet potato fries and I'm going to try and fry them. I know what I'm gonna do. I immediately think when I see kimchi, one of my favorite uh, Korean dishes is uh, is kimchi uh, patong, which is um, like a pancake that they make with kimchi. Maybe if I do a riff on that with potatoes, which is more in the latka territory, more in Zach's people's territory. So we're bringing a little bit of Zach's people, a little bit of my people, and a little bit of white people for Ned and, and Keith. It's the perfect Try Guys dish. Okay, I got my station set up. I'm gonna do some cutting and stuff over here. I've got the pan for the rice. I've got my double boiler. Let's get that started. That, I'm just gonna get this water nice and hot under there. 
and then we're gonna put the chocolate in there, melt it down, try to get all the nuts out. Okay, so while my water is boiling, I'm going to start creating the breadcrumbs. I'm gonna wash these bad boys. You know, while you're washing potatoes, wash your goddamn hands, babe. I will say making meatballs is one of my favorite things to do. I've never tried making tuna meatballs, but I think Ariel might actually like it. Wes, we're gonna make breadcrumbs. So I'm putting the breadcrumbs, I'm putting the bread and turn into breadcrumbs. Yeah, that's right, cover your ears, ready? You can kind of see the almonds. Hold on, I remember look at the underside of this kind of chocolate bar. Look at this, breadcrumbs. Yum. Look at this chocolate bar. We got, you can see where the almonds are. We're gonna throw, throw this in the, the boiler. What are olives doing in my refrigerator? Olives are delicious. Green olives are delicious. Not going in my meal, thank you very much. You know, people are a lot like onions. They've got layers, the Shrek reference. So my plan with the sweet potatoes is getting a little weird. Is I'm gonna try and mush them together. Oh shit! Do we have all-purpose flour? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mush these together and I'm gonna coat them in all-purpose flour and I'm gonna try and fry them. And if that doesn't work, then maybe I'll just make like little sweet potato latkes. I think you should make the latkes for sure. Cause... You don't think the French fries are gonna work? <sighs> this is so stupid. Ow! I cut myself. Oh well. You're telling me that I can't just like. No, not a chance, not a chance. I really do not want to grate the onions because that's gonna take four ever. Kudos to all of the Jewish chefs out there who are spending hours grating potatoes for latkes. I did not know that was a thing. That looks like a French fry to me. Do not dishonor the sweet potato fries. I think that'll work. That look too. Hmm. Okay, check this out. We got chocolate. Now, I didn't think this was gonna happen so fast. It's almost all done. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is take just a little, little bit of this chocolate right here and put it into this little, this little bowl. Start mixing it with some other things. Try and cut these nice and even. I don't even know if zucchini is very good raw. It's not. It doesn't taste good at all. Better go ahead and mix some other shit into it, just so it doesn't solidify. I'm gonna put this ponzu in here. God, it's so hard to film and do this. Okay, let's put this in here. We're gonna add some soy sauce in here eventually. That smells crazy already, that's that's for sure. That smells crazy. Step one, turkey bacon complete. We're just gonna take these little babies out of the, out of the hot tub, lay them gently on the paper, and then we're gonna gently tuck them into bed. Good night, turkey bacons. Potatoes and onions are done. Now it's telling me that I need to make a cheesecloth tourniquet and squeeze liquid from potato and onions. <laughs> what the f is that? Oh, seems like they need to get the moisture out of this for the perfect latka. This is a Korea meets Italy meets uh, Jewish cuisine type situation, so I don't want to do that. It's going to take four f***ing hours, but I also don't want my latkes to be wet. Okay, we're gonna start with the vegan mayo. I'm gonna do about like a... Oh no! Okay, let's actually start with this jalapeno and see if this is what I think it is. Okay, the question is, should I add the kimchi to the mixture now or should I add it as a topping? I am thoroughly in the camp of getting flavor in earlier. I'm gonna take a good amount of kimchi, which I guess is basically just, you know, spiced pickled cabbage from Korea. How are you guys doing in your home? Have you been cooking any uh, any exciting weird things? Why don't you uh, why don't you text us some of the stuff that you've been cooking at home at this number? Right, that, uh, that one, that one right there, you know? Oh, okay, this isn't exactly what I expected. Okay, so in here, oh, that's some serious chili action. Oh my god! Oh hell yeah, this is great. They're totally out. Hell yeah, okay, I did it. I'm a chef. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Wow. This is my apple raisin mixture. I'm gonna use that for my cocktail. It's 
my boiling water. And this is going to be my uh, tomato mixture once the cocktail's done. And now it's time to add the orzo. Okay, into the pot you go. Chop these down, maybe put them into the rice, or maybe just straight on top of the, the salmon. The salmon is still thawing, that's a concern. And this, I gotta, I don't even have, do I even have, do I even have this, like a, this, the right kind of spatula? Oh, this is a train wreck, don't look, don't look at this. Don't, we're, we're about to move, we're about to move. My goal here is to make like a nice, creamy, uh, rich, tomatoey sauce with some zucchini. Thanks. <laughs> what do you think so far, hon? I don't know what you're making, but I think it's gonna be middling to good. <laughs> middling to good. I will literally just eat eggs straight out of the shell. Quick. So this is what I have. I have the vegan sausage. I have the kimchi. I have the onion. And of course, at the bottom, the potato. All right, can I add some sugar? into my apple mixture. Yum, that looks delicious. Weird. Yeah, it's really good. How weird. It's gonna be a little weird, but I think it's gonna be good at the end. So I think I need to mix this until I basically create some sort of moldable, um, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I'm so sorry, Matt, this is why I do not cook. I think these need to create patties that are then gonna be fried up. Easy, simple. Beautiful, flawless, cover girl. And now we have a spicy mayo spread. I'm just gonna let you guys listen to this for a second. You like that? You like that quarantine content? Okay, so update, we have the salmon now on this. Now, we try not to use aluminum foil in this house, so I'm very nervous about this. I have very, very, very lightly oiled the uh, baking pan that's going to the broiler. I'm hoping that I will be able to get it all off in one soup and not up the skin. Uh, we've got a little bit of garlic. The thing with garlic, you really don't wanna cook it too fast. It'll burn. It'll burn, baby, so you don't want that. I feel pretty good. Also, pro tip, clean as you go, baby. Things take time. Off in your waiting around. Why don't you clean something? Keep that sink going. Keep it, see, I've already made such a mess, but at least I cleaned up some of it. Almond butter, do you wanna try some almond butter? Oh, pours are done. Ooh, yeah. Then you're supposed to add the, this like, it's vinegar. I think it's vinegar and sugar. Artichoke hearts. Oh God. Oh no, oh my god, oh no, my orzo sushi rice isn't sticky at all, uh, there must be a reason why they do sushi rice and not orzo. That's oh, really on there. Hey Maggie, can you try and open this? I'll try to use something like this to create the, the latka pancake form and then fry them up. Hopefully they get golden, hopefully they sizzle and pop, and then basically 90% of the way there. Oh my God. Oh my God. I guess I need more orzo. I think the only answer is more orzo. We need more orzo. Pro tip, if you can't open cans, use a kitchen glove. It's really on there. Oh. Boo, you're so strong. I loosened it for you, it was mine. I'm a little nervous because I got a lot of things going on at once. And I don't want to overcook the, the carrots because Becky doesn't like that. I still think I'm going to get the salmon mostly done before I put on the glaze. I just worry about this chocolate-based glaze burning, but I think it's pretty good. I'm going to have, let's have a taste. Let's have a taste. Meatballs, ooh, okay. They're a little, little bit brown, that's nice. All right, now I just need to mix my meatballs into my sauce and then make my cocktail. Actually, that's delicious. Ooh, the little secret heat on the end. Holy shit, chocolate's really good. I just found we have some secret truffle salt in the spice drawer, so I'm gonna put that in the pasta sauce and maybe it'll give it that extra little like, mwah. Does this look like food? 
Smells like food. It smells pretty f***ing good though. I, I'm not gonna lie, this is the most effort I've put into any food ever in my life. This is what everybody's broiler looks like, right? Just a confusing pan that just is abandoned there. Oh look, something smoking from the last time I cooked. Wow. Feeling good. Feeling a little nervous. I'm mostly feeling good. All right, we've got our green beans added to the toasted nuts and almonds. Of course, a little bit of butter never hurt no one. Oh, that doesn't look half bad. Am I a chef? Am I a chef? Am I a chef? Artichoke hearts. Oh, gosh, this part's probably not that interesting, huh? So, uh, what else have you guys been up to? Have you read any good books lately? Maybe cultivated a new hobby? I hope you're staying inside and taking this seriously or else what the f are the rest of us doing? Stay inside. All right, so these are my fried Korean latkes and I'm going to go ahead just to give them some extra time to cook. I'm gonna put them into the oven. My sushi orzo is still really just like, look at this, it is just slipping all around, not congealing at all. So I'm putting some of it on a paper towel and I'm gonna try and suck out all the moisture and then maybe it'll be sticky. I'm a little behind, I gotta catch up. I texted Keith a picture of the sweet potato and he's like, what if you make fries? And I'm like, well, they're already mushy. He's like, what if you make latkes for Passover? That's what I'm doing. It's been literally minutes and the salmon is already getting there, so it's time to glaze. Let's bring this bad boy up and do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Just as my ancestors made eons ago, I too have made the perfect latka. Up here, quickly glaze, and then return it. I am so sorry to all of our Jewish fans. I have let you down. Wow, look at that. That was beautiful. Look at that. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this without the camera. Or unless I can you know, wedge it into this. <laughs> I've just been wedging things up, but I can't, no, it won't, no, it won't stay there. Okay, it's not gonna stay there. Okay, just wait. Okay, pretty much everything is in process. It's now time for the final challenge. That is, to make my little sushi rolls. As you may recall, I put paper towel on the sushi rice to try and make it stickier. And let's see. Well, it's stickier. It's sticking to the paper towel. Okay, I have thrown the glaze. It's very thin. It's thinner than I thought. Spill it. The glaze, a lot of the glaze has gone on another pan. Okay, so a lot of the glaze is next to the salmon. So we'll see how that goes. Now the real question is, Will I successfully be able to get this stuff to stick? I need a little water. All right, got a little tiny sushi roll thing. I got some orzo. This is the wackiest thing ever. It is, it does feel stickier now that it's all dry. Oh my God, is this actually going to work? Are you eating a snack? I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, roll it. Roll it, roll it, come on. Oh my God, it's getting everywhere. I'm just gonna top some of these with a healthy dose of, oops, Well, now the oven is covered in cheese. Oh well, that's gonna kill me for that. Okay, now it's time to put it all together. I'm gonna spread the spicy mayo over the bread, add the uh, artichoke heart and spinach concoction, and then add the bacon. For the final stretch here, we got everything going, but this needs some seasoning. Soy sauce. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, that's not good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Rice down. I know it, like no one can smell this, but it actually does smell very good. Cook, did you toast these? No, not yet. I'm gonna do it on the stove top. Now we put these on the stove top over medium heat. Now I put these over the stove top and I press and let heat do its thing. Now we're gonna cook these for like two or three minutes. So if you wanna cut somebody else like fucking up and then cut back to me doing awesome, you should do that. Oh no, it's falling apart. Well, uh, I definitely have orzo falling apart everywhere. Oh no, that one, ugh, this one totally fell apart. Ah! Wash as you go, but also maybe not right now because I'm very stressed. Okay. 
Uh, I want to have to wash my hands. <laughs> salmon is confusing. Oh yeah, there's a lot of burning happening, but not the salmon, just the, just the glaze on the, on the pan. Okay, needs a little more time. So the chocolate, let me tell you what, I'm a little worried. The chocolate smell, very there. Can smell the chocolate. And there's my little zucchini sushi roll. Let's check it out. Oh, that's a thing. I don't know if it'll taste good, but it's a thing. Ooh, yeah. That's a thing. Yummy yum. Mm. These actually smell delicious. All right, it's cocktail time. I've got some sake, some gin. I've got our lovely sugar and apple mixture. All right, I'm gonna strain my apple sugar mixture. Okay, I just opened this up to see how we're doing. This is the old fork test. You turn it and place it apart, it's done. It's done, it's done. Get it out of there. All right, so voila, I have completed my dish. I only have one judge, don't judge me. And that's God, no, it's not God, it's Matt. Matt, you ready? This, I think she's gonna be happy with it. It's pretty nice. Let's get this out of the way. Let's not see that I spilled rice on the table. She just cleaned the table. Becky! 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 It's time. Whoosh. Bone apple tea. So Maggie, for your lunch, we have a spinach artichoke turkey bacon sandwich with a side of sweet potato latkes. These are latkes. Okay, so you can open your eyes. Wow! Ariel, I present to you zucchini and spicy tuna orzo sushi. This is gin, sake, and apples and raisin infused sugar syrup. But this looks really good. No feet on the table. No. And three, two, one, look. Oh, these actually look pretty good. What do they look like? They look like latkes. That's right. I made, I call these my vegetarian lot koreas. Uh -huh. Get it? Whoa! Look Do you put chocolate on the salmon? Yes, but only the teensiest bit. I made a mm -hmm. sauce. What? I want you to get yourself a fork oh, and try it. Look at that mushroom. Ah, the pickled cabbage. Cheers, darling. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's delicious. So how am I supposed to eat this? Just fingers? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And go. It's not bad. All right. Mm. It's good. It's really good. Yeah. A great blend of flavors. It doesn't even like taste like anything bizarre in there. I like it. I do too. It's really good. It's delicious. Mmm, pretty good. Pretty good? Mm hmm You're lying. Was this a good idea? Were you expecting latkes? No. So I was creative. Mmm, you're still eating. Your creativity was like through the roof on this one, because I did give you a pretty challenging chili. And like, I, it doesn't even stick out like a sore thumb. I was, I was a little lost on like, hey, I'm still giving notes. This is a tuna meatball. This is really good. This is really, really good. Yay. <laughs> Does it taste like a meatball? Yeah. It tastes like kind of a salty meatball. Uh -huh. I like the texture though. I think that the, the bread did good things for you. They're Whoa. like weirdly delicious. They're like, they're like, we should make that all the like, time. Like why don't actually. people make tuna meatballs? They're Whoa. so good. Describe to me the flavors. Mm. What do you think? Mm. What's not working? It's a little bland. Bland? I think it maybe needs salt. Salt? Mm -hmm. Try the salmon by itself, just with the glaze, just to get an idea of what the, the salmon itself tastes like. It just tastes like salmon. Doesn't it taste like the glaze at all? Oh, nothing is coming. How? It, look at it, salmon. though. Look at it. But, I know. But look at it. It's got nuts on it. Mm -hmm. The nuts came from the chocolate bar. Good. Yeah, now you can cook for the next two weeks. <laughs> no, 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 it's all done. No, no, no. That, it was a great time. Eugene uh, cooked once in his life. He's never had to do it again, ever again. Yeah, I'm going to give you a mystery box every day. No, this was great. This was a great challenge just for a video. Every day in quarantine, Eugene's going to give you a mystery box. He's never going to have to cook again.
Mm. Right, it tastes See? like salmon. Mm. How's that I told well? you. I think it's good. I do think it needs a little more salt, mm -hmm. but we can fix that. I didn't think you were gonna make something bad. No, but I thought I'd make something better. Oh, this helped. Mm -hmm. helped. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's it from us on quarantine. Week three. Any of you out there watching, if you've got some leftovers in your fridge, if you're thinking maybe you want to do something nice for your family or significant other, try your hand at making a fun dish. Get creative in the kitchen. Take some of your leftovers, make something new. Am I the best meal you've had today? Yeah, I, I mean, I am very, very hungry. This took us a very long time, so. <laughs> yeah, I got a kiss. <laughs> Woo, I got a kiss. That means I won. First place. <laughs> First place. First place. <laughs> Half the time around, we're just, him and I just make fun of them. You know? Just gotta bring them down multiple pegs. That's how I like my relationships. Just constantly degrading the other person's self esteem until they do what you want. <laughs>